Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. It is Christine Vallis and I wanted to put a quick video post up to keep you connected with God's prophetic calendar because today is a significant day on God's calendar here in this biblical month of ER, a month of transition and a month of great revelation historically in the Bible there. And you know, even in real time in our lives. And so today is the 16th day of the month of ER. And if you crack open your Bibles, in Exodus chapter 16, you will discover that on this very day, was it was the first day when God rained down manna from heaven. So I encourage you guys to open up your Bible and check that out, get some fresh revelation. And um, you know, this manna was really, you know, bread from heaven that was rained down. It sustained them for 40 years in the desert. So, you know, I was thinking, man, this bread had to be like a superfood because what food is going to sustain and satisfy and actually taste good? It says that it tasted like like honey um, for 40 years, um, you know, in the desert. So this had to be a superfood. And so when you learn about superfoods, even in the natural, right, you're like, oh, well, what are the benefits of those goji berries? Or what is the benefit of apple cider vinegar or whatever, all these superfoods out there? You know, so what are the benefits of God's word? Because manna is just a picture of the word of God, you know, and so you know, all over scripture, it talks about the benefits of God's word. You know, Psalm 119 talks about how um, God's testimonies are our counselors. It is a lamp into our feet, so it gives us direction. And even Proverbs 3, check it out, because it says that when we, um, you know, hide his word in our heart, um, all these things will be added onto us. So Proverbs 3 talks about long life right? Length of days and years, just meditating and partaking of God's word. Peace, which means shalom, safety, prosperity, security, welfare, well-being, and completeness. Proverbs 3 uh, continues and it says that, you know, we'll have favor with God and man, which is basically grace, and even understanding, insight, dis discretion, and on top of all that, guys, um, Proverbs 3, 8 goes on to say that his word brings healing to our navel, which basically, basically means our flesh and our muscles, and then refreshment to our bones. So, wow, oh my gosh, like the word of God has all these benefits, right? And, you know, just like when we find out, you know, like certain foods have all these great benefits, we're like, wow, that's so great, you know, but we have to eat them, right? We have to partake of them. Otherwise, we're not going to get any of those benefits. So it's the same thing with the word of God. You know, when you read in Exodus 16, it says that the Lord rained down manna from heaven, but they had to go out and gather that gather it for themselves on a daily basis, you know? And of course, as you read there, it talks about how they had to get double on the sixth day because it was a Sabbath and all that. But the point is, is that we have to get into God's word for ourselves, guys. There's no other way around it. I mean, we can listen to sermons. You can listen to me. You can get, um, I, I guess, secondhand revelation, but there's nothing like getting fresh revelation from God's heart to yours, one-on-one. -on -one. That's what we were made for, you know? Just like it is when you hear, you know, a restaurant has great food, you can't really testify to that unless you've eaten it yourself, you know? And no one can do that for you. So God gives us this awesome thing. It's called free will. And so he's saying like, here's all the benefits of my word, you know, um, long life, peace, prosperity, favor, understanding, healing, all these things, counseling, direction. We are all looking for this, right? And meanwhile, it's all in God's word that is probably sitting on your coffee table, sitting in some bookshelf, you know, sitting on your nightstand, but we have to open it up. 
And so, you know, there is a battle out there. Don't think it's a coincidence that you, you know, there's a struggle to get in God's word because the enemy knows that this word is full of treasure and he doesn't want us to to get into it. So we're going to have resistance. But guys, let's be reminded, wait a minute, this is spirit and life, right? Jesus said, my words are spirit and life. So let's not forsake it, guys. Let's partake of his living words because it is a superfood to our whole being, to our to our spirit, our mind, our body. It's the whole package. So guys, I encourage you to get into the word of God today. Fresh manna for, for the day. Partake of it to the full. All you need is one little nugget and that will set you for the day. All right, guys, blessings. Get into his word. Check out the story and the account Exodus 16 and feast on his living word. It is spirit and life. Blessings. Bye.